Removed Herobrine is one of Minecraft's most frequent fake updates. It's included as a joke every few game versions. But is it really a joke? Who was Herobrine, and why was he removed from the game so many times? You may think you know the answer, but the real story might surprise you. Herobrine is a character from Minecraft that is said to haunt your game world. He'll sabotage your builds, set things on fire, create strange monuments like pyramids and crosses. He'll remove the leaves from every tree in some forests and other very strange paranormal activities. He looks the same as a default Minecraft character, but has empty white eyes. As scary as he sounds, you'll likely never run into him while playing Minecraft. Why? Well, he doesn't exist. Oh, great. Well, there goes the power. All right, one second. Continuing, for years, many players believed in the myth of Herobrine, and some still do. But how did this strange, ghostly figure come to be, and how did he get so popular? Herobrine first appeared on a website called 4chan on their slash x board, a board meant for paranormal discussion. An anonymous user had posted a strange encounter they had while playing Minecraft. They had just started a new single player world and began chopping down some trees. They noticed off in the distance something moving. The player pursued it, hoping it was a cow which they could use for leather, but when they got close, they realized it wasn't a cow, but was instead a default character with blank white eyes staring back at them. This strange character ran off into the distance after staring for a while, and when the player tried to follow them, the character disappeared. The player continued on with the game and started noting strange things like 2x2 two two tunnels, small perfect pyramids, and again, trees with all their leaves cut off. All well on occasion seeing what looked like the ghostly figure they saw when they started the world. The player had had enough. He saved the world and went to the Minecraft forums asking if anyone else had experienced this. Within just five minutes, the post was deleted. He received a message from someone on the forums named Herobrine who simply said, stop, and when the player tried to click on Herobrine's forum page, it 404'd. Another player messaged him on the forum saying he had experienced this before too. That player gave him his email and told him to message him through there because the forum mods could see every private message. A month passes and this mysterious informant told him that he had discovered a Swedish gamer who went by the name Herobrine. After digging further, the informant discovered Herobrine was the brother of the man who created Minecraft, Notch. The player took this information and emailed Notch, asking if he really did have a brother named Herobrine. Notch replied shortly after with, I did, but he's no longer with us. The player never saw Herobrine again, and attached this image saying it was his only piece of evidence. If it isn't obvious by now, this is a creepypasta, a made up horror story that is copied and pasted around the internet. Notable examples of this would be Slenderman or Sonic.exe. The Herobrine creepypasta made its way around the internet, but it didn't really get popular until a player named Copeland came across it. Copeland was a streamer on the website Livestream.com. He had started a series with some friends, which they named Brocraft. Copeland liked the story so much, he wanted to be a part of it. The next day, he took a screenshot of his Brocraft world, photoshopped Hero Brian into it, and showed it to his stream chat. He loved the crazy reaction he got from it and knew he had to do a stream about it. So Minecraft has these things called resource packs. They allow you to change how the game world looks, how it sounds, and you can modify all sorts of cool stuff. Prior to 2013, they were known as texture packs and only allowed you to modify how blocks looked. Texture packs were introduced in November of 2010, but tech-savvy players had been modifying textures long before then. You would either make or download a pack and paste it over Minecraft's default texture files. This is why Copeland's world in this screenshot looks so different compared to default Minecraft, despite predating texture packs. But how is all this going to help fake a Herobrine sighting? Well, paintings had just been added to Minecraft a few months prior. They lay flat against walls and, at the right angle, look just like ordinary blocks. Copeland modified one of these painting textures in Photoshop to look like Herobrine. He placed the Herobrine painting in this room, and just like that, the hoax was ready. He started streaming and avoided the room for a few hours. Finally, he decided it was time to scare his viewers. He entered the room, saw Herobrine, and pretending to be scared, walked out of the room and turned off the stream. Chat was going ballistic. He had done it. Copeland pulled off the hoax, but he wasn't done yet. 
In chat, he talked about how freaked out he was, and later posted links to the Brocraft website, which had been transformed into this horrifying cryptic note. He posted the stream VOD to the Minecraft forums, which received 35 pages of replies before being locked by a moderator. He titled the post, Evidence of him, which is what some people refer to Herobrine as. It's kind of like how you're not supposed to say Voldemort, and I just said it. It's kind of like he who should not be named from Harry Potter. Anyway, Copeland deleted the world soon after, saying that doing so would hopefully mean he would never see Herobrine again. And just like that, the story of the ghost in Minecraft started going viral. The entire Minecraft community was going insane over it. Without asking Copeland, another Brocraft streamer named Patamus faked his own Herobrine sighting. He used what seemed to be a retextured door and placed it above lava. Just like Copeland, once he ran into him, he ended the stream pretending to be scared. But he later accidentally admitted to faking it while talking to his wife on stream. Plus, according to old forum posts, his acting was bad? We'll never know because the entirety of this stream is lost to time, along with Copeland's stream. The best thing we have is Enderboss 25's recreation of Copeland's stream, as it was done with the help from Copeland himself. Every video out there that claims to be the real thing is actually pretty badly faked. In fact, the most popular one is filmed in the wrong house, combines the events of Copeland's and Patamus's streams, and the reenactor sprints, something that didn't exist in Minecraft yet. Despite the stream's disappearance, what really helped keep the myth alive was just how adamant Copeland was that Herobrine was real. If he had cracked and said it was fake, this whole thing could have been over years ago. So, thanks to Copeland, the legend became popular and lived. But how did it remain so popular? I mean, there's only so many fake Herobrine streams you can do before people start to catch on. I have one word for you. Mods. Simply put, they're modifications made to Minecraft's code to add things like new monsters, new plants, even entire new dimensions. At the time, mods were just starting to become popular as they became more advanced. Dozens of mods popped up that allowed you to add Herobrine to your Minecraft world. Players would record themselves summoning Herobrine, fighting him, encountering his structures, all sorts of things. Minecraft also has a multiplayer mode, so you could grab a friend, have them change their skin, and fake away without ever needing a mod. In fact, it's theorized that that's how the original screenshot was taken. Mods could make Herobrine sightings more realistic, as you could trigger lightning whenever you wanted, or spawn a bunch of fire and other spooky stuff. <laughs> Wow, that was really odd timing. It wasn't supposed to storm today. Moving on, oftentimes players would post these videos saying that they didn't use mods or that they were in single player and claimed that the video was all real. Seeing as how Minecraft's fan base was extremely young at the time, they absolutely ate it up. This leads me to my next point on why Herobrine stayed so popular. Minecraft's player base was and mostly is still mainly kids. And what do kids do? They lie. Imagine how cool you would be if you were the one kid in the class who saw Herobrine. The other kids would worship you like a Minecraft god. Other kids would want to be popular too and pretend they saw Herobrine as well. Then again, depending on what school you went to, the kids playing Minecraft were not the cool ones. So maybe this doesn't apply. Anyway, the Minecraft forums were full of stuff like this. Kids telling stories of how they saw Herobrine in their world. But what if they weren't lying? What if something strange did happen in their world? A forest on fire, a random wall, strange things just happening on their own. Well, Minecraft was always updating, adding new things, features would break, and a lot of bugs would appear. Sometimes, even today, a lava pool will spawn right in the middle of a forest and burn the whole thing down. Or sometimes, when new biomes were added, the new areas of your world would oftentimes be cut off with walls like this. So many people would just jump to the conclusion that it was Herobrine. What made it even worse was that when cave sounds were added to Minecraft, basically spooky noises that would play whenever you're exploring a cave, those noises were oftentimes enough to scare me off Minecraft for the night. I didn't know what they were, I didn't read the patch notes. You bet I thought it was Herobrine. Maybe most convincing of all though is Mojang's involvement in this myth. When the story first went viral, Notch, Minecraft's creator, thought it was neat and said, although Herobrine doesn't exist, he might soon, implying he'd be added at a later update, which never actually happened. As time went on, he got more and more annoyed by the rumors and said, getting loads of tweets and emails about Herobrine again. I don't have a dead brother and he never was in the game. Not real, never was. 
My favorite though is Fine. Hero Brian is real, and he gains spooky vengeance haunting power whenever you remind me of him. Only way to stop him is to ignore him. Despite Notch's annoyance with the character, Hero Brian has appeared a lot in Mojang's content. He's been shown in a lot of Minecon advertisements, promotions, and most notably in Minecraft's patch notes. With every couple updates at the bottom of the patch note, they would say, removed Hero Brian, just as a joke. But the first time he mentioned it in the patch notes, it wasn't entirely a joke. In Minecraft's early versions, a human character existed. It didn't do much besides walk around and was aggressive in some versions, but as time went on, it was slowly patched out of the game. In Minecraft Beta 1.6.6, some more of the human's code was removed, and Notch made the now iconic joke in the patch notes. There's some rumors that perhaps the original Herobrine screenshot wasn't faked and was just a human with some fog in front of his eyes, but it's pretty unlikely. To take it even a step further, the original world seed where the Herobrine screenshot was taken was also later found, and there was no signs of him. Now back to my original point, seeing as how the patch notes used to display every time you opened Minecraft, this is one of the main factors that continued the myth. Hero Brian was almost impossible to ignore if you wanted to see what had changed since you last played, or what the game had to offer if it was your first time playing. These days, we know Hero Brian was a myth, and for some of us, a pop culture icon. But for Minecraft veterans, it's really just a fun nostalgic story. But next time you're playing Minecraft, late at night alone, just know, he could be watching. But I hear dropping a like on this video should keep you safe.